Hi everyone, thanks again for tuning to Team Forbidden's YouTube page again. I'm Andrew the Collector here, and today I'm going to be showcasing a deck that I think is going to be really good in the Link format. Um, it is Cyframes. And the reason why I think it's going to be um, good in the Link format is um, with Cyframe Lord Omega. One, unless they bump him up to, uh, unless they hit him on the Forbidden list, I think he's going to be one of the main key cards in the Link format. But we'll get into that when we get into the extra deck. So. Let's get into it. So first off we have three gammas, three alphas, three deltas, and two betas. Um, each of them has pretty much the same corresponding effect. Um, whenever your opponent would activate a card effect, you would, or does some kind of action, you would special summon one of these as well as one uh, Cyframe driver from your hand deck or field and negate the action and then and then destroy it. Um, for Cyframe Alpha whenever, uh, or Gamma, whenever your opponent um, activates a monster effect, you special summon this and Cyframe Driver and negate the effect and destroy it. Um, Delta is with spell cards. Beta is when your opponent attacks you directly. Um, when your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you can special summon this and Driver. Um, it doesn't negate the summon and destroys it, but it does a lot. It does um, let you search for a Cyframe card from your deck to your hand to search out like the field spell or trap or whatever you need. So the payoff for not negating the monster's summon is with a search, and that's pretty nice. And like I said, once they special summon themselves, you also get a driver for um, synchro summoning. Most people only run two of him, but I like to run three because. Um, it's not as cloggy as you would think, and it's also good to have spares. Um, and also, too, after they activate their effects when they're special summoned, um, they're they're banished at the end phase of whatever turn you, you use their effects on. And I would run a third beta if I had it, so for now I'm just running an extra um, Cyframe um, multi. It counts as a driver while it's on the hand or in the graveyard, so it's just a good... Um, good spare to have, and it's 25 defense, but I would take it out for a third beta if I if I had one. So that's it for the side frames. Next we have the three card card Ds, one of the most important cards in the deck because you're not going to be doing any special summoning um, during your turn. And also too, in order for these to <laughs> activate their effects, you cannot have any monsters on your side of the field. So your field's empty, you activate this, destroy it, draw two cards in your turn, and that leaves you, get, that might give you some extra resources to activate during your opponent's turn. So really good draw power. Then we have two Ghost Ogres and one Maxi. I would trade these out for Blossom, but they're expensive as hell, so I'm gonna wait till price goes down before I do that. And Maxi, obviously, for draw power. Uh, that's it for the monsters, now onto the spells. Free field spell, no less, um, because it's really important. When it's on, when it's on the field, um, like let's say that it's during your opponent's turn, and you activate Gamma's effect to special um, to negate the um, monster effect and destroy it and special summon Cyframe Driver. Um, immediately after, before anything else happens, uh, the field spell lets you synchro summon to get out um, any like. Um, synchro monster that equals the levels of the two monsters that were special summoned. So yeah, that, that's the main use of the field spell. There's more to it, but it's not as important. And yeah, it's you want to see this as soon as possible since the majority of the special summoning that you do is during your opponent's turn. And when your opponent would end their turn, the monsters that were special summoned get banished. Just makes it a little difficult. Not too bad, but still want to see it as much as possible. Speaking of which, terraforming as possible <clears throat> and just in case you do have them banished there are three psychic field zones you if you have a banished psychic tuner and a not psychic non-tuner you activate this send them both to the graveyard and special summon a, a synchro monster from the extra deck with the same level um, equal to the same level so it's basically a, a synchro summon for um, mon for monsters in the banished zone then two pod dualities, again, since you don't do m many special summons during your opponent's turn, or during your turn, I should say. 
two foolish burial goods for the traps. I will get into the trap um, later. And then one dark hole and one regeki. Now under the traps, traps are very limited. Uh, three overload, it's really good. Um, it's a continuous trap. During either player's turn, you can banish a side frame card on your side of the field or in your hand to banish one card your opponent controls face down. That's really good, especially since when it's face down, there are very limited ways of them getting it back, if any. It's, um, I actually found out that it's really good against um, true, king, uh, true Kings, if Masterpiece isn't unaffected by spell, uh, unaffected by trap cards. And for its graveyard effect, um, you can banish it from your graveyard to add a side frame card from your deck to your hand. I mean, come on, that's uber broken. And then finally for the last two traps is Drowning Mirror Force. Your opponent attacks directly, um, returns it to the deck. Since your field is going to be empty most of the time, it's a must. I would run three if I had the room. Um, if you can find room, I would definitely recommend running three. Now onto the extra deck. Um, three Lord Omegas. Um, I only have one, so I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to proxy the other two, but definitely three Lord Omegas. Um, the reason why I think he's going to be super broken in um, Link format, um, along with uh, two Zetas, just two, it's not as important, but still good, is that um, when you special summon him, like let's say you special summon him to the new extra zone, and during your end, during like you, the end of your turn, you ban banish him to get his effect off. When he comes back, he comes back in a monster zone, a regular monster zone, leaving your extra zone empty for another synchro play. If you need, if you need it, if you're able to do it, I should say. So yeah, that's that's really fucking good. So I recommend running three, no no less, definitely three, and I would say two Zeta. Three if you feel like it, but it's not completely mandatory, but its graveyard effect is really good. Then next we have, for the level eights, we have Thought Ruler Archfiend because it's psychic and it's it, it's Thought Ruler Archfiend. Uh, Stardust, Stardust Spark Dragons, and Scarlight. Um, not very many level eights since you're gonna be running, you know, three Omega and he's the most important level eight in the deck. But the other ones are just for spares, just in case. Now for the level sevens, we have more level sevens because they're sometimes better to go in than Zeta. Um, one Psychic um, Life Tracer. Uh, one Michael, um, since all the side frames are light monsters, his effect is still really good. Uh, one Meteor Burst Dragon because its um, effect is really good during the battle phase. And then my babies, my baby Black Rose Dragon. I always run a deck with her if I'm running Synchros. And my alternative baby, because why not? <coughs> now for the um, side deck. Um, side deck is um, up to preference. It's um, a little scarce, but just testing it out. Um, I run three of the side frame, um, what is this? Espeon, I think. Um, this one is the same thing, but for trap cards. You don't run into very many trap cards during your opponent's turn. Um, and any trap cards that would activate during your turn, you can't use this since you would have a monster on your side of the field anyway. Um, but I would run I would run this in the uh, side deck just in case I run into like Paleozoics or any really big trap heavy decks um, like that. But it's very rarely that I do, but I just like to have it there just in case. And then two Swift Scarecrows. Um, I like this better than um, uh, Battle Fader because it doesn't go to the field, it goes to the graveyard. Um, still keeping with that, no monsters on your side of the field. That's it for the monsters. Um, then we have one Dark Hole, one Pod Desires. Um, just testing these out. I'm not really liking Pod Desires. I'm thinking of taking this out for something else in the extra deck or in the side deck. Let me know what you guys think. And then for the traps, we have two quaking, the third drowning, in case I want to take something up for it, and torrential tribute. So yeah, that is the deck profile. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that cyframes are going to be big during link formats? Do you not think it is? Why? Why not? If you want to make any changes to the deck, leave your comments down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more deck profiles. 
And just to let you know, in the future, um, once at the end of July, once the link format comes out, um, we're going to be doing a rapid fire uh, video upload of old of old deck profile videos that we did, like the Zodiacs and um, Super Heavy Samurais and stuff, just older deck profiles with the link formats incorporated for kind of like an update for you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions for any f future videos for link format, be sure to just message us or um, leave a comment down below. Thank you again, again for, for your support, and we will catch you later.